do a video today to show you how to upgrade the number plate lights on the Discovery 3 and 4, they're both the same. Um, so these are the lights that you can see here. So you have got a couple of choices um, in terms of upgrading these. So this is the standard one that was fitted to all and you can see it's got a standard incandescent bulb. We've done videos before of how to up, just change the bulb to a LED type which is quite good. But the other option we're going to show you today is how to change to these new units. Much brighter, um, the lights all pointing down, whereas with this one, the lights all sort of shining everywhere. With this one, it's just coming in the direction you want. The other advantage is some of these start to get a bit grotty around the edges. You can see on this one here, it's, I'll cover that, make me help you. You can see how it, the plastic goes. This one's a complete sealed unit there. Um, so, as well as upgrading the bulb, you're actually replacing the whole unit and they do get a bit brittle. Um, so we think they're pretty cool, we'll get those up for sale on the website. I'll show you how to do it, but you could just upgrade the bulbs, it's probably a cheaper option. So, right, let me just turn the lights off or we'll be getting in trouble. Right, so both units are the same. You can see on the one side you've got this little sort of bite out of this side here. You just get that screwdriver in there, just lever him out. Sometimes you need to just give the other side a bit of a hand out. Come on. Trying to hold the... Come on, out you come. I just practiced this and it came out a tree. You got that? Yeah. That's it, there you go. So yeah, you've just got to like push it along a bit. It's a bit of a wriggle, but don't get Um So if you're changing the bulb, you can just do that. And then it's a capless wedge bulb, like that, T10. What they W5, do they also call them? Mm, I think five so. Watt is. Five watt, watt yeah. yeah. Um, that one's not looking too healthy, is it? It ain't looking too good. Right. The other advantage is sometimes these pins can get a bit corroded, they're not too bad in this one. But what we're going to do when we're changing the whole unit, you push this little tab here, there's a little tab which should release that to you. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see there you go, that's a better view of it. So we don't need any of this, we're going to grab those new units, where did I put that? Here. Right, okay. So that should, you got that nice little connector in there. And on one side it's got that little slopey, little slopey wedge ramp there. That'll click on there. Okay, so that's cool. And then remember which side your hook was on when you did it before. And then, yeah, I think you can try and, I'm going to try and put it back in the other way, the opposite way till I took it out. I'm going to put those two little teeth in first and try and wedge that ramp up. No, that ain't happening. I think I'm going to put that side in. And that, push him in. There you go, that's that. Let me turn that on and we can have a look at that. There we go. So that's the difference there. Now you can see how much brighter this is even than the LED. So when you've got that down, there we go, good luck with that. 